One disease that was once common is making a comeback in the state of Indiana. News Channel 18's Elizabeth Rentschler has more now on how measles can affect people of all ages. Elizabeth? Jeff, measles has been described by one nurse practitioner as one of the most highly communicable diseases. And over the past two weeks, it's been spreading rapidly right here in Indiana. An epidemic can be defined as an uncontrolled movement of a virus throughout a population in an uncontrolled manner. Indiana is not immune and is, as we speak, experiencing its own epidemic of measles. Because of the nature of the virus, you could, you could call it an epidemic because you had an epicenter within a short period of time where you had 10 cases develop rather quickly. So it, it, from a public health point of view, you look at it as a possible start to an epidemic and you need to follow it as such. That epicenter was the Super Bowl, which took place in Indianapolis on February 4th. Since then, there have been 13 reported cases of measles. Tippecanoe County Public Health Officer Michael Bolin says patients won't see symptoms for about 7 to 14 days after they are infected. Symptoms can start with a low fever and runny nose, but three to five days later, that fever can skyrocket to about 104 degrees. But where is this measles virus coming from? A lot of times it comes from international travel, travelers who are unimmunized. They go over, try to help someone over usually, or they're just traveling um, on vacation and they pick it up and come back. Dr. Bolin says death rates from measles are more likely to occur overseas where vaccines are not available. However, those who are unvaccinated here in the U.S. can experience complications from measles and even death. One out of 20 will get, a, uh, will get pneumonia with it. Um, one out of a thousand will end up getting a brain infection with it, and one or two out of a thousand end up dying from it. Dr. Bolin has seen one patient die from measles. He says most children are immunized at a young age. However, he recommends that adults keep up with their immunizations as well. If they do not think that they have had two MMR shots during their time, then yes, they should go get a booster. I really hope people take advantage of the fact uh, that we do have the immunizations. The immunizations markedly reduce the rate of getting it, and um, I hope they uh, take, it, uh, take that to heart and go and get immunized. Immunizations are available at the County Health Department, as well as several pharmacies in the West Lafayette area. All you need is a prescription from a doctor or from a nurse practitioner, as well as proof of insurance. Elizabeth Rentschler, News Channel 18.